Let's take a look at how to configure the M908's monitoring features using the web UI. From the UI home screen, we click the Setup button to enter the Setup menu, then select Monitor Control from the left-hand menu. These menus will allow you to tailor the monitoring controls to your specific needs. As you go along, your changes will become part of the active configuration, but they aren't saved until you hit Save. If you turn off your 908, change to a new configuration, or revert to the previously saved version of the configuration you're modifying, you'll lose any unsaved changes. It may be worth making a copy of your starting point before you edit anything, just in case you want to go back to what you had to begin with. With the UI, this is as easy as going to the Workflow menu, selecting your current configuration, and saving a copy, renaming it as you see fit. There isn't really an option to save as once you've made a bunch of changes, so make the copy first. The DIM window lets you adjust how the DIM function works. Use the level slider to set the DIM level anywhere between 0 and minus 30 dB. The Mode pull-down window lets you program the DIM control to work on either the speakers and headphones, or speakers or headphones independently. You can audition your setting by clicking the Status button. The Mono Setup allows you to set which speaker outputs will play the mono sum signal. You can select between the left and right channels, or have the mono sum signal sent to a center channel if there's one present in your speaker system. The Mode menu lets you choose between speakers or headphones or both for playing the mono sum signal. Also, there is an offset level which you can set to compensate for an increased loudness when a stereo signal is mono summed. You can audition your setting by clicking the status button. The left minus right controls are similar to mono. You can choose which speakers play back the sum signal, either the left and right channels or the center channel if present. The mode menu lets you select between speakers, headphones, or both, and the level offset slider lets you boost the apparent loudness of the left minus right summed signal when activated. You can audition your setting by clicking the status button. Mute programs which outputs get muted, either the speakers, headphones, or both. You can audition by clicking the status button. Levels controls the way the RCU volume encoder operates. In standard, each indent on the volume control makes a 0.5 dB level change up or down. In coarse fine mode, each indent in the volume control will jump 4.5 dB, or if you push the volume knob while turning, each step will be 0.5 dB. This mode is great if you like to make bigger level changes more quickly with fewer knob turns. The speaker setup area is for adjusting how the m 908 speaker output levels are controlled and displayed. The pull-down menu has two options, standard and reference. In standard mode, the level display is a 0 to 100 dB relative scale. Reference mode lets you tailor that scale to an absolute dB level that you've designated for your speaker system and room. In reference mode, levels that are above or below your preset reference level will be shown with a plus or minus on the level display. Level limit lets you set a limit on the volume control, which can help prevent damage to your speakers or your ears caused by excessive SPL in your room. Preset level lets you set a level which can be recalled at any time by pushing and holding the volume control on the RCU or double-clicking the level fader on the web UI homepage. Power-up level lets you set a level which will be recalled every time your M908 is powered up. Output mode is used to configure the behavior when switching between the main volume and headphone volume. When disabled, switching between them will not mute the inactive volume control, so both will be on. Standard mode will mute the inactive volume control, so it's either or. Mute speakers mode will mute the speakers when you adjust the headphone level, and mute headphones mode will do the opposite, muting the headphones when adjusting the speaker level. In these modes, both outputs are active until you mute one or the other. The LFE section is where you control the low-pass filter frequency and its slope for the LFE input channel. 
You can also apply up to 10 dB of gain to the LFE signal if necessary. Equalization. These two buttons allow you to activate or bypass the bass management system and room EQ. Headphone. The headphone outputs on the 908 can be fed from various sources, the left and right monitor channels, the down mixer, or any cues that are enabled in your workflow. The sliders here allow you to configure the gain, balance, level limit, preset level, and power up level for the headphone outputs. The headphone down mix menus allow you to select a built-in down mix template for monitoring surround sources through the headphones. Certain down mix templates will allow you to adjust the center and surround channel mixing levels. For a detailed explanation of down mix formulas, please see the owner's manual. Once you finish making all your changes, hit the save button in the bottom right. This will write all the changes to your current workflow. If you want to revert to the previously saved version of this workflow, hit the recall button.